The estimated cost of that first phase is between, in 2008 dollars, 32.8 billion and 33.6 billion dollars. How will that be paid for? The nine billion dollars manifestly is our financial foundation. No other state, no other region with all the talk and discussion under a new presidential administration is close to California in putting its money where its mouth is. To that nine billion dollars, we expect two to three billion dollars from local and regional sources, not just public, but also private. Those of you who have seen high-speed rail stations in Europe or Asia probably have remarked about the development which has occurred around those stations. You sell air rights if you own extra land, you can uh, sell or lease long term uh, that land for development, and it works financially. Added to that will be 12 to 16 billion dollars in federal grants. And that already is shown by the fact that a new president is responsible for the fact that in the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, which he signed on February 17th of this year, there is $8 billion allocated for high-speed and normal rail. And California, under the rubric of the governor's office, will submit an application just as soon as the criteria are published in early June by the Secretary of uh, Transportation. In addition, President Obama's, Obama's recommended fiscal federal budget for fiscal year 2010 includes a billion dollars, the first down payment of five years of appropriating a billion dollars a year for high-speed rail, in addition to that, the Surface Transportation Act, which is a five-year legislative program and expires uh, presently on September 30th of this year, will be renewed, obviously, for the next five years. And based upon conversations, Senator uh, Copper of Delaware, Senator Kerry of uh, Massachusetts, and uh, Congressman Overstar of uh, Minnesota, I forecast there'll be between 14 and 15 billion dollars over the next five years in the Surface Transportation Act uh, renewal legislation. 